You're, you're hot sauce, okay? Stop pretending that you're mayo. Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today is the first rest day, active rest day of the Glow Up Challenge and I'm very excited because I've decided that on our active rest days, we should have pep talks. I'm a true, true believer in mindset and knowledge and education. And I think that yes, the exercise is great, the workouts are amazing, but if we're not glowing up up here, then there's a chance that we might miss something. So I figured that once a week we would sit down and have a quick-ish, who knows, little pep talk and just chat about different topics that I think are so, so important when it comes to loving and looking after your body. If you're wondering, hey hen, what do you mean active rest day? What I mean by active rest day is that we need to keep it moving. I know that we're not doing an intense HIIT workout, but I want to encourage you to go for a walk in nature, go for a bike ride, maybe a gentle swim, just to stay active today doing an activity that you enjoy maybe have yourself a little dance party whatever it is I just really want to encourage you to keep movement a regular part of your day of your life really because uh, that's what it's all about it's about learning to move well and um, so yeah it doesn't have to be a structured workout to still like look after your body and get moving so it's an active rest day um, and that is what will help you to get the most out of this plan let me know in the comments what activity you choose to do yeah, let me know. And I'll let you know which one I do as well. I think I'm gonna go for a walk today. The sun is shining for the first time in a while here in the UK, so I wanna make the most of that. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the topic for today's video, which is mindset. Oh my goodness, I am so passionate about mindset. To give a wham bam definition of mindset. It is essentially someone's beliefs, the way that they think, uh, which can be influenced by their culture, their philosophy, their experiences in this life. Let me just read an actual definition for you here because I don't want to mess this up. So just grabbing my laptop here, um, the dictionary definition says, a mindset is the established set of attitudes held by someone. A mindset is a set of assumptions, methods or notions held by someone. Uh, it can also be seen as arising out of a person's worldview or philosophy of life. A mindset can also be described as a lens or frame of mind which orients an individual to a particular set of associations and expectations. Now we'll put the little uh, Mac away. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what a mindset is. Um, generally it's the way that we think and the things that we believe. And this is so, so crucial. I cannot state it enough how much our mindset affects what we do, uh, the results that we see, the way that we live our lives, whether we achieve our goals or not, mindset is super, super key. It's like, for example, if you believe something about a certain thing, you're going to act according to that belief. If our mindset determines our actions and our actions are what determines whether or not we reach our goals, then it is so, so important to work on our mindset and ensure that we have a good one. Now, when it comes to exercising and getting fit, looking after our bodies, a mindset which I think can be really incredibly dangerous is the mindset of, I'm just not a fitness person. And you might be listening to that thinking, Sarah, what are you on about? What if someone just isn't a fitness person? And I have people say that to me all the time. They'll say, oh, I'm just not the type to work out. You know, when you're born, they don't look under your foot and say, oh, there's a fitness person. This one is a fitness person. No, they, they don't do that. What makes someone a fitness person? In my opinion, what makes someone a fitness person is the fact that they choose to commit to and work on their fitness and they do it consistently and well until they see those results and they look like the kind of person that will say, yes, they're a fitness person. A lot of you might look at me <laughs> and think, oh yeah, Sarah's a fitness person. She's the kind of person who just enjoys working out. It's just who she is. And I can 100% say that that is not something that is just nature. It is also nurture. You can be whatever you decide to be. You can be the kind of person who eats well, exercises, and looks after their body well, 100%. No matter what you've been through, no matter where you're from, I know that we all have different um, struggles and different things to overcome, but I believe that in order to overcome them, it has to start with the belief that you can. So if you wanna be the kind of person that looks after their body, that eats well, that enjoys life, that loves their body, not hating your body, not shaming yourself, but genuinely enjoying exercise, 
that is possible. And I really, really want to start off by encouraging you to believe that you can. Believe that you can achieve your goals. That is 100% the starting point for achieving anything. And the reason why that's so important is because it will determine whether or not you carry on with this program. It will determine whether or not you do the, the workouts and quit halfway because, oh, it's okay. It's just not who I am. I'm not a fitness person. No, you're the one who determines who you are. And as you get up and do this workout, you are saying, I am a fitness person. I, I, I don't know why I've chosen that, that um, term, fitness person, whether that's, or I'm just not the kind of person to work out, whatever term it is that people usually use. Um, you, you choose whether, or whether you are or not by the thoughts that you think and the actions that you take. And I want to encourage you to think the thoughts that will help you to take that action which will reaffirm the thoughts that you thought. Does that make sense? I hope I'm not rambling. Yeah, when it comes to the glow up pan, I want to challenge you to stop saying things about yourself that don't align with your goals. So if you want to be incredibly fit and strong, stop saying, I'm so weak, I'm lazy, I can't be bothered, I don't like working out. Stop saying that. Like it, what you say and the way that you think about things, and I'm talking to myself here as well. This is something that I've worked on incredibly. I've, I've worked on a lot. So sorry if this is coming across as thou shalt not. It's definitely something that applies to all of us, including myself. But the way that you think about something will determine how much you engage in it, whether you enjoy it or not. If you're starting a workout saying, oh my gosh, I hate exercising. This is the worst. I'm not very good at this. Then of course you're going to hate it. Of course you're going to hate it. If, if You will with that attitude. Do you know what I mean? Like I say this all the time. Someone will say, oh, I can't do this. I'm like, well, no, not with that attitude. You can't. Not if you go into it like that. So, oh, my cat is so needy these days. Babe, I'm recording a video. I can't believe I just called my cat babe on a video, but it worked. <laughs> um, okay, so, hun, chill. So, <laughs> please edit that out. <laughs> the challenge that I want to give us all today is to be careful of what we think and say, to be really mindful of our mindset. Okay? Now, practically speaking, I want to encourage you every time you have a thought of, I can't do this, I'm not very good at this, I don't enjoy this, replace it, cut it out and replace it with, I enjoy this, I am very good at this, I am acing this plan, I'm getting stronger with every move. You'll notice that I say those kinds of things in the voiceover and it is not unintentional, that is incredibly intentional to help you to see, to help Oh, both of us, myself included, to see that actually we can do whatever we put our minds to and we're absolutely going to ace it. So I want to encourage you to take control of your thoughts in that way. And another way that I really want to challenge you um, to be mindful of your mindset is via affirmation. So I'll leave a link in the description box of this video to my book of affirmations about health and fitness. And it is amazing. I highly recommend it. It has a set of affirmations for each day, 30 days of affirmations that you can say and that you can speak into your life. And I know that this sounds like, oh, you know, eerie, fairy, name it, claim it. But I truly believe that the things we say, the things we hear about ourselves, the things we think are the th become the things that we believe and that becomes the way that we live our life. Like if someone constantly told you that you were stupid or that you were ugly growing up, it's really hard to not believe that. And you, we tend to believe that. And actually the truth is we hear the things that we say. So if you're saying, I'm dumb, I'm ugly, I'm unfit, you're going to believe your own words. And so that is why I love affirmations to help us reframe the way that we think and to challenge what we're thinking to say, actually, that thought wasn't good. I'm going to replace it with a good one that aligns with my goals that is going to help me to behave in the way that I want to behave to achieve my goals, okay? So an example could be, I am excellent. I'm getting stronger every day. I love my body. My body is beautiful and fit and strong. I'm healthy from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I truly can. I want to encourage you to take these affirmations and to say them with intention. You can even sit in front of a mirror and look yourself in the eye and say it to yourself. That can feel quite intense and quite weird, but it will just really help you to think about these words and how powerful they are. Imagine that, that they're actually true. Imagine you do genuinely love your body and you enjoy working out and you love the challenge of it. That is just incredible. So yeah, mindset is key. And I, and I, as you do this glow up plan with me, I really want you not to gloss over 
the positive things that I say about you because I'm not just saying them for banter. It's not even funny. I would like to think my banter is better than that. <laughs> like I'm saying them because they're true. You can do whatever you put your mind to, whatever your goals are, whether it's getting stronger, getting fitter, whether it's just completing the challenge, whatever your goals are, you can do it. You are capable beyond beyond our wildest dreams, like genuinely. And it really starts with believing that you are and allowing yourself to believe it. Because sometimes we can be all like false humble, like, you know, we say, we think humility is denying our strength. Like, oh, I can't admit that I'm good at working out or that I'm actually going to eat well and boss my life because that would be cocky. And I can't say that I love my body because I'm not allowed to love my body. I have to say it's ugly. No, you're, you're hot sauce, okay? Stop pretending that you're mayo. Nothing wrong with mayo. <laughs> I don't like mayo personally, but you know, I know that some people live and die by it. But yeah, allow yourself to say these good things about yourself because it's needed. It is very much needed. And I could go on about this forever, uh, but I don't want to. I said that this would be brief. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking there and I will save it for our next active rest day and pep talk of the glow up plan. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, what other topics you want me to cover. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe and share the plan with a friend. Invite them to come join too. I will see you very soon. Love you so much. Bye.